Welcome to the installation of a simplex flexitube at the Pirnewerft shipyard in northern Germany. The simplex flexitube was initially designed in 1998, with the first one being delivered in 2001 to Cantiere Navali in Tomoli, Italy. More than 200 simplex flexitubes have already been delivered around the world with propeller shaft sizes ranging from 180 to 855 mm in diameter and in various lengths. These have been supplied to offshore, tanker, container and cruise liner vessels. To enable us to produce the correct technical solution, all that is required from the customer is the shaft diameter, the calculated stern tube length and the hull type. With this information, a simplex flexitube is easily customized for any particular configuration. Thanks to a modularized design which is certified by classification societies, the first set of drawings will be quickly sent to the shipyard at an early stage. Later, they will receive a customized design to be approved by the yard. Upon delivery, the yard will receive a full set of drawings and instructions showing the design in detail. When the simplex flexitube is delivered to the shipyard and installed, it is done so as a turnkey installation. This film shows a complete delivery including everything needed for a secure and reliable stern tube. Bearings, piping and fittings, installation equipment, documentation, etc. The interfacing sections of the ship have to be prepared according to the instructions when the simplex flexitube arrives at the shipyard. Given that the shipyard has accomplished this, installation time can be cut from days to hours. On site, the simplex flexitube is positioned behind the prepared aft boss on the ship structure. The whole installation is supervised by simplex flexitube's own service and installation personnel to ensure the quality of the installation and to answer any questions which may arise. When the main part of the stern tube is inserted, it is time to pump the air out of the retractable ceiling. So, now we have got so far with the installation. The tube is more than two-thirds in and it's time to connect the vacuum pump. The pump is connected to the ceiling from the inside of the stern tube. The retractable ceiling has a specially designed profile and together with our specially selected material can be easily retracted. With the vacuum and the retractable ceiling it is then flattened. The stern tube can now be easily inserted in the gap between the stern tube and the interfacing section of the ship, and the rest of the stern tube is then inserted. This is easily achieved due to the specially designed features for installation. The retractable sealing is a patented solution to seal off the epoxy resin, an important issue as anyone involved with epoxy resins will know. The ceiling is specially designed in order to make the system completely reliable when it comes to securing the epoxy resin filling and avoiding air pockets. It is positioned and tested at Simplex Flexitube's workshop. When the stern tube is fully inserted, the air is allowed back into the ceiling by disconnecting the vacuum pump. The retractable ceiling will now adapt to the interfacing surface no matter how rough it is. Even with an offset of plus minus five millimeters, the alignment will still be correct. The retractable ceiling and the ceiling package fitted onto the aft flange of the simplex flexitube create an axial gap where the epoxy resin is to be filled. 
The stern tube goes through the bulkhead, and this creates the flexible part of the simplex flexitube. This is a patented solution and implies that the stern tube is allowed axial thermal expansion and contraction. By giving this allowance, a stress-free environment is created around the stern tube and this reduces the wear and tear on the stern tube, the ship structure and the shaft seals. Now it is time to fit the two rings, the connection ring and the adapter ring at the forward end of the simplex flexitube. Thanks to the patented solution allowing the stern tube to go through the bulkhead, this is easily and quickly done. On the connection ring, there is a sealing package, which makes the filling of the epoxy resin as secure as possible. To secure the proper distance for the epoxy resin, both horizontally and vertically, certain technical features are used. Both the sealing package and the technical features are part of the system to secure the filling of the epoxy resin. The connection ring and the adapter ring are then perfectly fitted onto the stern tube. Interface towards the shaft seal is customized and designed to fit our simplex sealing. After the assembly of the few parts of the stern tube, it is time for the alignment. The exact alignment itself is preceded by a rough alignment. The exact alignment is a very delicate matter since an incorrect alignment is one of the sources of vibrations and breakdowns. Simplex FlexiTube has chosen to use laser equipment to obtain this accuracy. Laser is the most exact method available on the market. The laser equipment is supplied and handled by Simplex FlexiTube personnel. The Simplex FlexiTube only requires two measuring points and the result is an exact alignment down to plus or minus 0.5 millimeters. Any deviations when aligning are easily taken care of thanks to the special alignment equipment supplied with the Simplex FlexiTube. The shipyard will receive drawings showing the dimensions for the interfacing sections of the ship, the aft and forward boss. They will receive the outer diameters, the inner diameters and the length of the sections all properly calculated and approved by the classification societies. Because the shipyard receives these dimensions at an early stage, they have the opportunity to manufacture them in any suitable way. The simplex flexitube is designed to compensate the common mechanical deviations that often occur in an environment such as this. After the alignment, it is time for the epoxy resin filling. This is preceded by an extra pressure test to make sure that no damage has occurred during transportation. The first and most important pressure test is done in the workshop under the supervision of the classification society. The simplex flexitube is then prepared for the actual filling. It is equipped with filling connections and features to avoid air pockets both horizontally and vertically. The filling is done from below in order to obtain the best result and to avoid air pockets. The filling must be carried out by authorised personnel and from here on their work is simple. All that is required is that the taps are fitted to the filling connections at the bottom of the stern tube. As the epoxy resin, in this case chock fast, is a two component epoxy, it needs to be mixed just before use. The temperature of the epoxy resin is very important and can vary from shipyard to shipyard depending on the local conditions. On the top of both the aft flange and the connection ring, there are air outlets where the epoxy resin overflows when having filled the indicated area. This indicator shows that the area is properly filled. When the epoxy resin is filled, it needs to be allowed to harden. The shipyard can still continue the work with, for example, positioning the simplex shaft seals 
without disturbing the hardening process. The construction is extremely maintenance-free. No parts and main components require exchange. Just a few O-ring changes and such like, but generally speaking, it is extremely maintenance-free. Since the whole design is approved by classification societies, the Simplex FlexiTube complies with classification society's monitoring system approvals. This means that the requirements for achieving these approvals are built in and are standard features of the Simplex FlexiTube, for example, an oil sampling pipe, interchangeable temperature sensors, etc. The monitoring approvals give the ship owner a longer time between shaft withdrawals, up to 10 years or longer. If the vessel has to go into dry dock, the bearings can easily be replaced if necessary and quickly transported to the shipyard thanks to the fact that the Simplex FlexiTube has designed, manufactured and fitted the bearings themselves. Further, the optimised design of the Simplex FlexiTube ensures less oil usage than for conventional solutions and also simple and efficient cooling. There will be less wear on the shaft seals due to the elimination of mechanical deviations. The long-term benefits are obvious. The maintenance is dramatically reduced thanks to the perfect alignment and the stress-free installation. The stress-free installation allows thermal expansion of the stern tube and together with the decreased transfer of vibrations to the hull, the wear and tear is kept low on the ship structure, the bearings and the shaft seals. This results in an increased life expectancy and a more comfortable environment on board.